They told on him plenty of times. Mm. You see, they told on him plenty of times? Plenty of times. He was going to BG cell every other week. Hey. If you didn't know he was BG in there, you looked at him. He was like, you're a regular street dude. That's just real street right here. Real street. And he cheered it like that. He was on the yard like a regular dude, had his own knife, told his own ish. They know, you know, because you got some people coming in and get booed. Yeah, he had a big ass knife. Yeah, he got, he got, you know, and he pulling up. I watched this and so I seen it. I seen dude say something slick to him behind the door. He, hey man, don't get this rap shit twisted. I see when we when he popped the door. Mm. Now I was just chill out. I'm gonna go holler at him. Just I'm telling him I'm gonna go holler at him. He waited so I walked off and went somewhere else and went over the, went the other way by itself and pulled out on the door. But it's different between shoot somebody and stab somebody. So you shoot and that's different. When you stab and this glad this three hundred and you gotta have a stomach for that. So you and BG was locked up in the same? Right, that was saying that was my cellar. Oh shit, y'all was cellar? That was my cellar. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he, you, you were already in there and he came and joined you? Or you? Right, I was already in there. Okay. And we kind of met like on some weird, it was weird. Uh, I ended up getting transferred. Mm -hmm. I was in Bennettsville. Got caught with a phone in the shoe. Well, I didn't get caught. My cellar got caught and put it in my mattress and told on it. Said it was mine. So I ended up beating the shit out of him. And I, was, I ended up beating the shit out of him. And I ended up getting transferred. Who they have locked up in here? Oh, them the hardest That's criminals, the bro. Them, them the hardest of the hard. This is federal penalty. The USP Atlanta, being I've been so many times, because Atlanta's the transit center for the feds. So wherever you're going, if you're going down south, you got to go through Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? You got to go through there. Well, I was being set by myself. And being I got a little, a little respect, a little rep, they, they honored that. And then one night, it was knocked on my door. Bop, bop, bop. Ask BG, you think you're going, going to sell with him? And he was still reply was, not going to sell with anybody. That's what BG said. I'm going to sell with anybody. I don't he, care where they from. I ain't going to sell with them. That's what he said. That's what he said. With his mattress in his hand. Yeah, you put me in there. And at the time, he had his dreads down. I couldn't see his face. And then when he came in the cell, damn. This BG, you BG, hey. I'm like, oh, okay, what's up? Right. He gave him a little doubt. And you know, I know some of the same people that's from this, from this city. We went shopping it up like that. Where you be in? And that turned into, he was, at first he wasn't talking, like he didn't talk, he read a lot of books. Like he more of a reader, look at, standing in the door and look at CNN all day. And like I was saying, that's a lot of stuff that people don't know about, be real intelligent. You read, you have a reader, and you like that news, the CNN, you up in all the politics. Like, the man put money on my book, make sure I was straight. The man paid for my daughter and my grandson Christmas. So, I, as a man, I respected that so much. That showed me, you know what I'm saying, that not only did we grow like that, we grow in a relationship. You know, this happened over time, it's getting to each other. Pull this paperwork out. This is the first thing you do. You know, we, 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 my See, he pulled, he pulled his paperwork out. It's my paperwork. Read this. Because you're not allowed to travel with your paperwork. Well, but sometimes we'll, you know what I'm saying, put it in your, your thing, but you got his paperwork. Yeah. Read up and read it. He presented it to you. Presented. That's how you just he kept paying out man. He got his paperwork. He, he left before me. We were selling in Atlanta for like over here for the old pandemic. I think this is during COVID. So we locked down tight. So when we leave and go to Big Sandy, I had stayed behind an extra week or two. When we first get there, the crazy part about when I hit the yard, somebody gave me a note. <laughs> And he know what I was there for, I even got there. Hey, bitch, I'm in this, I'm, I'm in A3 or whatever. Okay, this is where I'm at, bitch. Talking this little shit, you know what I'm saying? So he know what I was there for, I even got there. And as soon as I get to the dorm, the man got two, three big bags of commissary. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out, you know what I'm saying? He come to my door and, you know what I'm saying? And drop three, four bags on the shorts, sweatsuits, all that. Right, right, as soon as I get there, even though I ain't need it, they need to press off the bus. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. And that's See, what, yeah, go to another time. You live no way you need and this and that. So I had already been to Big Sandy before. See, that's another thing. I already been there. I got sent back to Big Sandy. So I already know staff, because you know, I don't been on the yard four, five years already before. We're on the mountain, so I ain't up in here, business. They spend tobacco, all that. You know what I'm saying? So for him to come out on the yard under no conditions, 
and being who he is, that say a lot. You came out in the pen. You didn't know FCI, you came out in the pen with your paperwork. With him being a, him being a celebrity. He got license registration. This is your license registration. And he let you know, and, and so he let you know who he is as, as a man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm standing on that. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't pressing me because I'm on celebrity. Because you think I got money and he ain't going for none of that. Man, Cause, they, Cause they'll try to pressure you because you got. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So when he hit the yard, what was it like for him? They, people nah, they loved him. Yeah. He was like, he was, they, they loved him. People at the same time, you know, just BG. Just like to us, as far as us growing up out here, like, that's like, that's like, that's the big homie. But he was on the yard like a regular dude, had his own knife, told his own shit. Ain't no, you know, because you got some people coming in and get. Yeah, he had a big ass knife. He got, he got, you know, but he on it. You got it on your own. You ain't got nobody else doing it. You see what I'm saying? So that's no, no, it's different between shooting somebody and stabbing somebody. So you shooting, that's different. When you stabbing, this glad this 300, and you gotta have a stomach for that. To be sitting there to stab a man 20, 30 times, or 10 times, or just stab somebody, period. It's a lot. So sometimes you, uh, you adjust to your environment, you gotta adapt to your environment in order to survive. This environment might not be who you is, but I'm adapt to it in order to survive. You see what I'm saying? So he did that. He did y'all. Respectfully. Go to council here, finish it up. And he had a big heart. If you ain't had nothing, that man would hit your hand with some council here or whatever you want. He, yeah. wasn't, he wasn't no messed up dude like that. Man had a big heart. You know what I'm saying? So, and he pulling up. I watched this and so I seen it. I seen the dude say something slick to him behind the door. He, Hey man, don't get this rap shit twisted. I see you when we when he pop the door. Mm. Now just chill out. I'm gonna go holler at him. Just I'm telling him I'm gonna go holler at him. He waited so I walked off and went somewhere else and went over the, went the other way by itself and pulled out on the door. Ran up on him. Hey man, what the world we talking about? Ooh. Yeah, bitch, what you what's up? And I respected that. So I'm like, man, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? So he really had his own business. A lot of celebrities don't, when they get to their pen, like you hear all these stories before you even get there. And what happens is people ask, man, where you going? Big Sandy. Man, you want Big Sandy? Be careful. Or you have some dudes that become Muslim. Take their shahada while they're in transit. So when you get to the pen, you coming out some lake them because the Muslims don't check paperwork. So a lot of rats duck up under the Muslim banner because Muslims don't check paperwork. They saying Allah forgives you for everything. So your past has been forgiven once you take your shot. So they don't ask you for paperwork. So a lot of dudes that rats, or in the feds they use the word hot. That was another thing I had to catch on to. See, in the street, when you say somebody hot, they mean the police on them. But in the feds, when you say somebody hot, you saying he a rat. So you gotta catch up with the language barrier first to get that part understood. They told on him plenty of times. Mm, you see, they told on him plenty of times? Plenty of times. They was going to BG cell every other week, hating. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, they just go with it. It's the same thing like the street, but it's a enclosed environment where you can't get away from it. See, I hear if you hating on me, I can get away from around you. And there when you hating on me, you can't leave. Y'all gotta be around it. So you gonna get this straight, or we're going to end up being a situation. But the man stood up on all that. I watched it. I was there. You know what I'm saying? Was there any situations where he where he did rap and the occasions where he did rap or anything? I rap for like, like... Like 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 rap, like floor. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he did that for a few guys and all that. Okay. Yeah, uh, where, where, where he would be going against somebody? Or he no, nah, he's just, just rapping. Just because okay. everyone want to hear what he sound like. A lot of dudes want to know, do you still sound like that? A lot of young dudes don't even know who he is. You know what I'm saying? And he and it, but he and through other people. And he rapping, but just not all the time. The main thing I respect about him was there's been times that people come to the door, you know, because we locked in 23 and 1 2 down in Atlanta. Maybe you may stay out two hours. So people start hearing BG, uh, BG, uh, you know what I'm saying? So a dude would come to the door and he was like, where you from? And talking to you, he was from New Orleans or whatever. And uh, 
man said that you was down there with his name, a name, and BG told him, man, that man rap, man, you can fuck with my dog, man. I don't fuck with no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that, like, cut on it. He was a man.